Takže vítejte u nového videa. Dneska je to teda na téma sklizně vyčesávací lištou Shelbyn Reynolds. Máme tady zástupce přímo od výrobce Adam. Uh, hello Adam. Hello. Could you please present uh, Shelbyn Reynolds to us? Uh, Shelbyn Reynolds is a company uh, we uh, we formed back in 1972. Uh, Keith Shelbourne, he was the, the founder. He bought an uh, engineering company called Reynolds Engineering and hence the name Shelbourne Reynolds was formed. Um, over the years we've uh, manufactured a, a variety of different uh, machinery from a lot of pea harvesting equipment uh, back in the early, early years, uh, which is what our stripper head was kind of evolved from. Um, it was evolved from a fresh pea um, harvesting machine uh, which picked uh, peas for uh, freezing and canning. Um, we found a, a niche in the market to create a header that was a little bit different than the normal uh, cutter bar system. Um, so we essentially we harvest the, uh, the grain from, from the head and leave the, uh, the straw standing. Uh, the main goal at the time was to increase uh, combine capacity because you're only just handling the grain rather than the, the bulk of the straw. So yes, yeah, and the, the header was developed probably oh, in at late 1980s and went into production probably early 90s and, and then it's been sold yeah, from then across the world. So today the header is uh, pretty present all around the world. What are your main uh, markets now? So it's normally wherever uh, uh, the crop conditions are uh, yeah, extremely dry and moisture is very valuable. So the, uh, the, the standing straw acts as a, uh, a, you know, a, a, a resource, as it were, to maintain moisture. Okay. And uh, if we look at the header, what uh, what is the main fun function? What is the main like? Uh, how is it functioning? What is the technology behind it? Yeah, and sure. And maybe what was also the evolution since uh, since the first machines? How it changed? Yep. Uh, as I said, the base of the machine is, is the actual strip and rotor itself. Uh, comprises of eight rows of, uh, of stripping fingers. So the fingers yeah, come up in an upward direction. So it's combing through the crop. And actually the, the round hole at the base we call the keyhole, that's actually what's doing the grain stripping. Uh, the fingers today are made of uh, sprung stainless steel, uh, whereas the early days they were, they were a plastic finger and they used to have, well let's see they were plastic, then they were plastic with a metal wear plate, uh, but then we went to a, a stainless steel finger um, to be, uh, have a longer life and to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, the stainless steel fingers we use today have a, an aggressive side and a non-aggressive side. Uh, in North America, we'd have all of the fingers with the cups facing up, so it's very aggressive, which is more suitable for uh, a, a hard red winter wheat, whereas uh, where you tend to have more of a soft wheat that you do within Europe, uh, we tend to have the fingers either all non-aggressive with the cups facing down or a mixture of every other row to be an intermediate position for, for, for the harvesting. So, that, so that as the fingers come through, they strip the grain, and then literally they follow the contour of the, uh, the crop deflector on the in inside into an auger behind and then feed into the combine. So uh, Shelburne is like a British company and you make the stripper headers but you also make like a different uh, range of machines. Could you please speak about all the different machines you make? Sure, um, so our, our machines are split into three main categories. Uh, we obviously have the harvesting equipment which also includes the, uh, the, the grain stripper behind us. Uh, we also make a, a pickup header as well as a, a header trailer. Uh, the, our second sort of biggest division would probably be the, the livestock um, machinery, uh, which pretty much stays within the United Kingdom. We do export a little bit, but not, not, not hugely. Uh, that comprises of a, a diet feeder for mixing um, you know, rations for, for cattle uh, and a manure spreader for, for spreading uh, it's a animal waste. And then we also do some ground care equipment as well. Uh, we do a, a range of flail mowers to go either on the front or the rear of the tractor as well as a uh, hedge trimmer for um, you know, cutting the verge sides, the, the, the hedge, hedge rows that we have you know, throughout the country. So here we can have a better look at the drive system and uh, drive terrain of the, of the whole header. Could you please explain to us how does it work, what's the functioning of this unit? Uh, yeah, this machine is, is, is equipped with the, uh, the variable speed drive. Um, the, the big advantage of this is you can actually tailor the, the, the strip and rotor speed uh, from the cab. Um, to suit the conditions in, in the field. Um, so if we, if we look at a, a piece of straw, so ideally we take, take the grain out of the head and almost leave a, a, almost a skeleton of the, of the grain. Um, so if we can take the, the grain out, the strip and rotor speed is, is perfect. If the heads are breaking clean off, you can normally slow it down. But if you start to leave grain on, on the head itself, you can speed that up. So as the conditions change throughout the day, sometimes you'll be um, opening and closing this rear pulley here 
to uh, adjust the speed on the front pulley by you know sort of 50 rpm at a time um, to suit the conditions so often in the morning when the when the conditions are a little bit tougher you'll have the stripping rotor going probably faster probably you know sort of 500 550 and as the heat of the day as it gets hotter um, and the crop becomes a bit more brittle you'll slow that down and then as the evening draws in especially if you have dew coming from the soil you'll speed it up so you can adjust you can tailor and adjust it just straight from the cab because um, otherwise the old system we used to have to um, change gears physically and make big jumps in speed so it's always hard to um, have the the strip and rotor going at the correct correct speed but now you say you can do it from the cab so it's a little bit more user friendly okay thank you and uh, when we speak about the main reasons why to use like the stripper header yep what are the big advantages uh, probably the main advantage uh, today is, is the no-till benefits um, and, and, and moisture retention. So the stripper header really comes as, as, a, as a piece of a puzzle within a farming system. Um, it's very also included now in a more of a regenerative system as well uh, for cover crops, uh, example. But, uh, but yeah, no, the standing straw becomes a perfect environment for most no-till drills, especially a, a disc drill because um, you're literally planting down between the straw you don't have a, a thick layer of uh, chopped straw to try and try and manage so you always get uh, good seal, seed to soil you know, contact mm -hmm. for, for emergence and, 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 and the studies over the yeah, years have always made that taller, taller stubble heights increases moisture retention so you're following crop whether it, in, the, in the United States whether that be uh, corn, soybeans, sunflowers show a dramatic improvement because of the you know um, more taller residue left behind after the you know, wheat harvest mm. okay and uh, if we if we for example we because we don't take straw the, the straw into the combine maybe there's also some advantage on the moisture of the grain or like in the during the harvest like the quality of the harvest yeah the quite often the, uh, uh, the, the the straw isn't fully matured when it comes to harvest and the grain is dry uh, so with a stripper header, you can normally uh, start harvesting a few days earlier than you would do with a conventional uh, machine. Um, also, because like you say, because we're not taking the bulk of the, the straw through the machine, uh, the, the, the wear and tear on the combine is less uh, mm. for, for the wearing components such as uh, you know, concaves and that kind of thing. Um, also, the grain quality is normally improved slightly as well. Um, you get a cleaner grain sample. Um, and fuel usage is, is probably... Um, saved as well probably up to 30 percent fuel savings i would say compared mm -hmm. to a uh, a cut of our machine um but yeah and also you know so and also capacity wise capacity because you're not processing all the straw through uh normally we gain probably sort of 20 to 30 percent um in capacity on the on the actual combine itself um, but also, you know, throughout the day, because you can start earlier, maybe go a little bit later, and you also gain, you know, further than that also. A few hours of work. Yes. More. Yeah. yeah. So you were mentioning productivity. Uh, what are, like, the ground speed we can get up to with this uh, stripper header? Uh, typically, most people will be operating uh, between 8 and 12 kilometers an hour uh, in, in most conditions. Mm -hmm. And here we are, like, in the... Today we were harvesting wheat. What other crops uh, can we like manage to harvest with this kind of header? Uh, mainly cereal crops is probably our main key focus. Um, so wheat and barley would probably be our number one crops uh, around the world. Um, also sort of, sort of um, uh, rice as well as a big crop for us in parts of America, Australia. Um, grass seeds also, um, oats as well, which obviously would be within the cereal um, group. Um, we do have some people that will harvest um, field peas as well. Um, also uh, linseed or flax which is often quite a, a, a tricky ha tricky crop to uh, harvest because of the the, the the tough nature of the straw um, and then um, yeah there is some a little bit of interest in um, harvesting hemp for the the, the flower buds um, to make uh, CBD oil as well but that seems to be quite a, a niche niche market across the world uh, but which is very governed by um, regulation at the moment so all right so we can see that there is this uh, metal deflector on the header. What is its purpose, the functioning, and can we move the position when we work? Yeah, the deflector, the main, main reason for the deflector is it makes a seal. Um, so what it will do is it will push the straw forward 
and it'll almost form a curtain across the, across the front of the machine. So as the uh, stripping fingers come through and strip the grain, instead of the grain spitting out in front, it hits a curtain of straw and then diverts into the header. So, th so this functions uh, controlled hydraulically, normally from the hydrostat. So as the, uh, the crop conditions vary through the field, you'll go up and down slightly with the crop deflector to match the, the, match the height of the growing crop. So you're always trying to keep a seal to try and keep as much grain in the header and avoid too much uh, header, header loss. And uh, then there are these fingers. You mentioned they're made of stainless steel. You can see that like one of them got bent during work, maybe hit something like harder. Sure. Uh, is it an issue or? No, they're, they're, they're made, it's like you say, they're made of a sprung stainless steel. Um, you say often if you hit, hit rocks and stones, rocks and stones don't generally tend to pick up by the machine they'll tend to actually flick them in for forward because of the way the rotor is spinning. Uh, but to straighten these machines, the, these fingers, sorry, the, uh, if you take a, a, a spanner or a pipe, you can go into both the stainless and the plastic and actually bend them back, you know, into, into back to the, the form that they should be. Uh, but also because they're, they're made in uh, 60 centimeter lengths, if you did um, have, happen to hit a, a real big rock or something like that and cause damage, you only actually replace you know, short sections of the fingers, um, so you can actually replace them as individual units. So here we have a little spot with some uh, lodge crops. Yep. How does the header operate in this kind of condition? Can it make it? Yes, no, the, the header actually performs very well in, in, in the lodge crops as well as the standing. Uh, obviously the standing crops is the kind of the cream of the crop that's it's the easiest harvest in condition but when it's in lodged areas like this because the uh, the rotor spins in an upward direction it always has a, a picking up action to it so when you approach a lodged area you essentially will lower the header down uh, almost to the skid plates which avoid you um, digging the rotor into the into the ground so you drop the down drop down to the skids uh, also drop the crop deflector down because you want to try and maintain that seal and then the fingers will comb through and then collect the crop but instead of having a just a, a nice combing action it has a, a more of a, an aggressive kind of tearing action so you will pull more material into the machine but you will you know you, um, pick the crop up as well so you'll tend to have to slow down your ground speed a little bit to uh, yeah so maintain the speed through the through the, the, the lodged area so here we are in a crop that was like stripped down thank you Adam for all the information yep you're very welcome Děkujeme za slednutí tohoto videa, doufáme, že vám to přineslo zajímavé informace. Pokud máte k vyčesávacím myšlám nějaké dotazy, určitě pište do komentářů a nezapomeňte odebírat náš kanál. Děkujeme.